The new metering rules provide a way for water users to build their social licence and enable the community to have greater confidence in how water is used in New South Wales. The new metering rules are being rolled out in stages to give water users and meter installers time to get ready. The stages will initially focus on large water users and then move on to remaining water users in the northern inland, the southern inland and the coastal regions of New South Wales. Water users need to ensure that before their rollout date, they have an accurate tamper evident meter fitted with an appropriate telemetry and data logging device. We're here on site today to install a local intelligence device, one of the first in the region. The local intelligence device commits the data from the water meter to Water New South Wales. The benefits from the new non-urban water metering framework and installation of LIDs for water users make it very easy for landholders to use water, gets rid of all log books, ever all the information is committed to the DAS under New South Wales Water and it's all done. The technology will save users considerable time manually recording their water use and will also lessen the amount of errors in data recording. The metering rules will drive an increase in the need for meter installers, for manufacturers of metering and telemetry equipment and for supporting trades and services. It generates jobs, it gets uh, water people like me out on farm. At NRA we are a firm but fair regulator charged with enforcing the law. These reforms are significant and we know it hasn't always been easy. We expect you though to take reasonable steps to comply and for those who are struggling, we will use our discretion to apply a fair approach to compliance. If we do encounter water users who can't present evidence that they've used best endeavours to comply, we will investigate and determine the most appropriate course of action. Landholders should contact a DQP as soon as possible with COVID-19 and the constraints on shipping and transport as well as the lead times in configuration and information gathering. The landholders need to be on the front foot, they need to be proactive. Whatever your pathway, we encourage people to act now to get things in place and installed before the deadline. Most water users do the right thing and they and the broader community expect those that don't to be held accountable.